this is Deirdre from DeirdreMcGuire.com and welcome to video two in my series, How to Tap. So, why would we tap? After all, it looks a wee bit weird. Well, two reasons. The first one is quite simple. We are tapping on and into the meridian system of the body. Each organ has a meridian end point on the surface of the body. The points we tap on represent the same organs that react when we go into fight, flight or freeze mode, also known as stress. The second is even more important, and the reason it is, lies in the term pattern interruption. When we tap while stressed, we cause a pattern interruption between the mind and the body, while also sending a signal back to the mind that everything is really okay. So, what are these patterns that we are interrupting? Let me help you understand. When we are born, and come into the world, we have experiences. These experiences are saved in the database of our minds as memories, also known as our proofs about our reality. As we accumulate this database of memories, we begin to form beliefs. Beliefs about ourselves, beliefs about the world, and life in general. These beliefs become the set of rules from which we operate and navigate our way in the world. We are now in the loop of more experiences, more memories, and more firmed up beliefs. These start to compound into our identity. Now this really is who we think and believe we are. From this identity, our mind produces thoughts. These thoughts in our mind produce feelings in our body. And based on these feelings, we take actions. These actions are simply a result of everything that went before. So that it turns out we're not broken, there's nothing wrong with us, we are actually a success. Successfully producing results based on our past every time. You could say we are a results machine. The question is, do we like the results we are producing? We simply produce our own stress based on our own unique experiences from the past. So can you see where the idea of the pattern comes in? And why tapping is an interruption of that pattern. And that's why it's so good to tap in the heat of the moment, when you are really bothered or stressed. Because that's when you are in your pattern, even though it can definitely seem like it's someone else or something else doing it to you. And when you tap and interrupt that pattern, the whole thing can collapse like a house of cards. You cannot continue to produce that old result. So, here's my call to action for you from this video. Start paying attention to your patterns. And if you find yourself triggered by something or someone or a situation, remember, it's just old patterns. And the clever thing to do is tap. Interrupt the pattern of your old worn out story that you have been creating. Honestly, clever people do this work. What I've shared here is like a movie or a film trailer, depending on where in the world you are, for the work that I teach in my workshops, my one-to-one -one private clients, my webinars, and my now famous three-day intensives. I hope whatever you're doing today, you're having a really, really good one. Because we know now for sure that it's always, always up to you. I look forward to seeing you on my next video when I will share what I call one of my nuggets of personal power and transformation. This was pivotal in transforming my life and I look forward to sharing that with you. I'll see you then. Bye.